Let's get going with this practice. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. And uh, those that choose to sign up to practice today, my name is David, as always. Excited to share this practice with you. Today it is Veterans Day, and uh, we're celebrating veterans. So thank you to all those service members out there that have served our country and voluntarily taken time to help uh, afford us the wonderful life that we have right now. Um, Boy, this is such an interesting time that we all have, are, are experiencing, but I, I certainly thank uh, uh, everyone out there that has taken time to serve, and uh, I'd also like to say thank you for all the people that have said kind things to me for my service. I certainly appreciate that, too. <clears throat> for today, um, I wanted to talk about the power of thought and, and get into our hour-long practice. I'd originally planned to do a shoulder opening practice, a 90 minute shoulder opening practice, but I was asked by the Air Force ROTC at University of Southern California to teach a Veterans Day class to them. So I had a chance to talk to about 70 new up and coming cadets that uh, are gonna be going into the Air Force. And because of that, that moved my schedule back a little bit. So please accept my apology on that. Next week, we'll do more that, that shoulder opening class, especially if you're working with frozen shoulders and issues in the shoulders. But uh, for today, talking about the power of thought, and I'm sharing um, <clears throat> Paramahansa Yogananda's thoughts. If you don't know Yogananda, Yogananda started the Self-Realization Fellowships. Uh, if you're familiar with Lake Shrine off of PCH, uh, Pacific Coast Highway and Sunset, as well as down in Encinitas, uh, Swamis, there's a couple different, there's a whole bunch actually along the coast of California. But Self-Realization understanding how our thoughts play a dynamic part in our experience of living. How our thoughts can create successful opportunities for us as well as failure opportunities as well. But the power of thought. He says you demonstrate success or failure according to your habitual trend of thought. In you, which is the stronger? Success thoughts or failure thoughts? If your mind is ordinarily in a negative state, an occasional positive thought is not sufficient to attract success. But if you think rightly, you will find your goal, even though you seem to be enveloped in darkness. You alone are responsible for yourself. No one else may answer for your deeds when the final reckoning comes. Your work in the world and the sphere where your karma, your own past activity, has placed you can be performed only by one person, yourself. And your work can be called a success only when in some way it serves your fellow man. He says, don't mentally review any problem constantly. Let it rest at times. And it may work itself out, but see that you do not rest so long that your discrimination is lost. Rather, use these rest periods to go deep within the calm region of your inner self. Attuned with your soul, you will be able to think correctly regarding everything you do. And if your thoughts or actions have gone astray, they can be realigned. This power of a divine attunement can be achieved by practice and effort. So with that said, let us begin our effort. Let's come into a comfortable cross-seated position today. We'll sit tall, hands on knees, palms face down, close the eyes. <clears throat> and we'll get into our practice this morning. <sighs> Closing the eyes. Let go of your day, let go of your week, let go of what's next and what's to come. Observe your breath. Observe the inhale, then the exhale. Observing the depth of the breath, the pace of the breath, and the balance of the breath. Let's breathe together. Please take a long, slow breath in. Fill lungs up. And exhale, let it go. Long, slow, deep breath in. Fill lungs up. Exhale. 
exhale, letting it go. Long, slow, deep breath in. And exhale, letting it go. Continue to breathe on your own. And as you breathe on your own, check in with your body from your head to your toes, observing any tension, tightness, soreness, and balances of any kind. And as we move through our practice, breathe deep, take breaks, most importantly, listening to your body. Let's set an intention for our practice today, setting a personal goal, something we're looking to achieve, to create, to manifest. Place your hands over your heart. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up at the top and then hold the breath. Sip once. Sip twice. Sip three times. Hold your breath to the top, let the chest expand, draw the shoulder blades down the back, relax the face, lips, eyes, mouth, and forehead. Continue to hold the breath and focus on an intention or goal. See it happening. Exhale, release the breath. We'll do an OM. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands down to the knees, softly blinking the eyes open. Let's switch the crossing of our legs, other shin on top. The other shin on top, hands on knees, palms face down. Let's start to work into our spines. On an inhale, lift the chest and chin, take the gaze upwards. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, dome the back. Wake up and flow. Inhale, lift the chest and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round spine. Inhale, lifting chest and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, lifting chest and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, lift chest and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, lift chest and chin. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. On an inhale, lengthen your spine, reach the arms up, palms touch. Exhale, draw the hands down to the heart center. Inhale, arms out to the sides. We reach up. Exhale, draw the hands down to the heart center. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms out to the sides, reach up. Exhale, hands down to the heart center. On the inhale, arms out to the sides, we reach up. Exhale, lower your right hand down, reach your left hand over to your right side. Inhale, rising up, palms touch. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches. Inhale, rising up, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, left hand down, right hand reaches. 
One more full round. Inhale up, palms touch. Exhale, right hand down, left arm reaches. And inhale, rising up, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, left hand down, right arm reaches. On the inhale, please come up, palms touch. Exhale, float the hands down to the ground. Uncross the legs, come onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. As we come into tabletop positions, open the hands wide, root through your palms and tuck your toes. On an inhale, pull the heart forward, look forward, cow pose. Exhale, lift your knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward, look forward, cow. Exhale, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward. Exhale, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two more. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward. Exhale, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Last one. Inhale, knees down, heart pulls forward. Exhale, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet out, bend the knees, walk your dog out. Good. And then from here, separating the hands, shoulders distance apart, separate the feet, hips distance apart, turn the heels slightly outward, and then press out of your shoulders. As you press out of the shoulders, wrap your biceps forward, triceps wrap back, shoulder blades press against the back. On an inhale, lift your hips and heels as high as you can into the air. Exhale, press your chest towards your thighs, lower your heels down towards the ground. One more time, inhale, lift hips and heels high into the air. Exhale, press chest to thighs, lower heels to the ground, downward facing dog. On an inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. And inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to meet the feet, forward fold to the back of the mat. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, half lift, lengthening your spine. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. And exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards in our palm touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Good. Slowly walk to the top of your mat. As you walk to the top of the mat, step the feet together, keep the hands at the heart, drop the chin down towards the chest, come back to your intentions for your practice today. Take a long, slow, deep breath in, fill your lungs all the way up to the top, hold the breath, Sit once, sit twice, sit three times, hold the breath at the top, focus on an intention, see it happening, be clear, be specific, and exhale, release the breath, arms along the sides, the gaze is forward, out in front. On an inhale, arms reach upwards, extend, exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down, take your time. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant your fingertips, step your left foot back, lower the left knee down towards the ground. On an inhale, lift the chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, hips back, lengthen through your right leg. On an inhale, bend into your right knee, lift your left knee, runner's lunge. 
Exhale, press into your left hand, reach your right arm up and twist. On an inhale, spread through collarbones and reach the right fingertips. Exhale, lower the right hand down, step your right foot back, plank position. Inhale, shift forward in your plank. Exhale, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin down to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, peel the heart up. Exhale, child's pose, hips back towards your heels. <coughs> Inhale, shift forward, tabletop position. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your left leg high, look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot between the hands, right knee down to the ground. On fingertips, inhale, lift chest, sit into the hips, look forward. Exhale, take the hips back and lengthen through your left leg. On an inhale, please bend into your left knee, lift your right knee, runner's lunge. Exhale, press into your right hand, reach your left arm up and find a twist. Take a full breath in, look upwards, stack your shoulders. And on the exhale, lower the left hand down, quietly step your right foot forward, forward fold at the top of the mat. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to rise, use the core, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands down to our heart center. On an inhale, arms reach and extend up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands fingertips down towards the ground. This time, inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant your fingertips, step your right foot back, lower the right knee down towards the ground. Keep the back toes tucked. Inhale, arms sweep upwards, reach, palms touch. Exhale, go post the arms and lean it back. Inhale, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down, lift your right knee. Inhale, step your left foot back, plank position. Exhale, lower knees, lower chest, lower chin down to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose, we peel our hearts up, lift the chest. Exhale, child's pose, navel in, hips back towards our heels. On an inhale, shift forward, tabletop position. Exhale, tuck toes, lift knees, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg high, look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your right foot between the hands, left knee to the ground, back left toes stay tucked. Inhale, arms reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, goal post the arms and lean it back. Inhale, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to the ground, lift your left knee, runner's lunge. On the inhale, step your left foot forward. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms out to the sides, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step your feet back into a plank position. Inhale, shifting forward in your plank. Exhale, bend elbows, lower halfway, chaturanga. Back bending, inhale, upward facing dog, heart pulls forward, crown of the head reaches upwards. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, letting it go. On an inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down to the ground. 
Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back. Move it through vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Inhale, high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhaling, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards, find a little back bend, palm touch. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right, inhale, chair pose. Get low in our hips. Exhale, forward fold, release the hands down towards the ground. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or hop your feet back, lower halfway down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the right tricep, give it a tap. Inhaling, right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep, twist across the body. Inhale, right leg up and back, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands, left heel down, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, rise. Warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, goal post the arms, lean it back. Inhale, reach up, warrior one. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, lean back, lift the chest, look upwards. Exhale, fold to the inside of the right knee, hands off tailbone. Inhale, rise up, warrior one, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down towards the ground, step your right foot back, lower halfway, chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, letting it go. On an inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the left tricep, give it a tap. Inhale, left leg lifting up and back. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, twist across your body. Inhale, left leg up and back, look between the hands. Exhale, quietly, step your left foot between the hands, right heel down, heel to heel alignment. On an inhale, rise up, warrior one, arms reach upwards. Exhale, goal post the arms, lean it back, find a back bend. Inhale, reach up, palms touch, warrior one. Exhale, opposite interlace of the hands behind the back. Inhale, lean back, lift chest, look upwards. Exhale, folding to the inside of the left knee, hands lift off the tailbone. Inhale, rise back up, warrior one, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down towards the ground, press to the palms, extend your left leg back, plank position. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower halfway, inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, come high on tiptoes, bend knees, gaze between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward. Inhaling, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold it in. 
Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, press to rise, come all the way up. Hands to the heart center, Samasitihi. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, hands to your heart, twist it to the right, left tricep, right thigh. Inhale, chair pose, our arms reach back up. Exhale, hands to the heart, we twist it to our left, right tricep, outer left thigh. Inhale, chair pose, our arms reach back up. Exhale, forward fold, release the hands down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float the feet back, move it through vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, take your right leg high. Look between the hands. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands. Left heel down. Heel to heel alignment. On an inhale, please rise, warrior one, arms reach upwards, exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch alignment, inhale, flip your right palm reverse, left hand, left thigh, reach it up and back, exhale, side angle, right elbow to the right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. Inhale, reverse, left hand, left thigh, right arm reaching up and back. And again, exhale, side angle, right elbow to the right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. Inhale, reverse, left hand, left thigh, right arm reaching up and back. And exhale, side angle, right elbow, right thigh, left arm reaches and extends. On an inhale, please rise up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten the right leg, arms reach up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, straighten right leg, arms reach up. Inhale, warrior two, bending right knee. Exhale, straighten right leg, arms reach up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground, runner's lunge. On inhale, roll to the outside edges of the feet, press through left hand, right arm reaching upwards. And on the exhale, quietly step your right foot back, side plank, Vashisthasana. On an inhale, take your right arm forward, lift your left hip up. And on the exhale, lower the right hand down, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Back bend. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. On an inhale, lift your left leg high, look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot forward. Right heel down, heel to heel alignment. On an inhale, smoothly rise up. Warrior one, Vita Vidrasana one. Exhale, warrior two, split the arms, adjust the feet, heel to arch alignment. Inhale, flip your left palm, reverse it. Right hand, right thigh, left hand reaches up and back. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, left thigh. Right arm reaches and extends. Inhaling, reverse, right hand, right thigh, left arm reaching up and back. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, left thigh, reach through the right fingertips. One more time, inhaling, reverse, right hand, right thigh, left arm reaches up and back, opening the side obliques. Exhale, left elbow, left thigh, right arm reaches and extends. On an inhale, please rise up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten left leg, arms reach upwards. 
Inhale, bend left knee, get low in the hips. Exhale, straighten left leg, arms reach up. Inhale, warrior two, bend into your left knee. Exhale, straighten left leg, palms touch and reach. This time, inhale, bend into left knee, warrior two. Exhale, windmill the hands down towards the ground. On an inhale, roll to the outside edge of the feet, left arm reaches up. Exhale, press through your right hand, step your left foot back, Vashisthasana, side plank. Inhale, right hip lifts, left arm reaches forward. Exhale, left hand down, lower halfway down, Chaturanga. Back bending. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dogs. Take a deep breath in, fill lungs up. Exhale, letting it go. On an inhale, come high on tiptoes, bend knees, look between the hands. Base of the exhale, step or float the feet forward to the top of the mat. Inhaling, half lift, lengthen spines. Exhale, folding it in. Inhale, press to rise, reach upwards and our palms touch. Exhale, hands to our heart center. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. Exhale, come all the way down onto your buttocks. Navasana, boat pose. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower. Exhale, we lift. Eight, lower. Exhale, lift. Seven, lower. Exhale, lift. Six, lower. Exhale, lift. Five, lower. Exhale, lift. Four, lower. Exhale, lift. Three, lower. Exhale, lift. Two, lower. Exhale, lift. One, lower. And exhale, lift. Gently lower down. Bring both knees into your chest. You bring both knees into your chest. Cactus your arms. Take a full breath in. And exhale, stack the knees over the hips. 90 degree bend in the knees. Flex your feet. Moving the legs to the right and left. Inhale, knees to the right. Exhale, knees to your left. Inhaling, knees right. Exhaling, knees left. Inhale, knees right. Exhale, knees left. Inhale, knees right. Exhale, knees left. Inhale, knees right. Exhale, knees left. And inhale, knees right. And exhale, knees left. Coming back towards center, both knees hug in. As both knees hug in, Start to rock up and down the length of your spine. As you rock up and down, start to get some momentum. Rock up and down so much. Rock onto your feet. Chair pose. Get low in the hips. Inhale and chair. Exhale, forward fold. Hands, fingertips to the ground. On an inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips. Step your left foot back. Runner's lunge. Right knee over right ankle. Inhale, rise. Crescent lunge. Arms reach upwards. Exhale, fold in halfway. Arms sweep back along the sides. Inhale, rising. Crescent lunge. Reach up. Exhale, fold in halfway. Arms sweep back along the sides. Inhale, rise up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, fold in halfway, arms sweep back along the sides. On the inhale, look forward, press into your right foot. Exhale, glide forward onto the right foot, warrior three. 
Finding the balance in the right leg, left heel presses back, crown of the head reaches forward, creating a T-like shape. Hold here for five, four, lengthen right leg, three, right hip draws back, two, spine lengthens, one, inhale, exhale, left foot meets the right, chair pose, low in the hips, inhaling our palms touch. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant the fingertips, step your right foot back, bending into the left knee, left knee over left ankle. Inhale, please rise, crescent lunge, arms reaching upwards. Exhale, fold in halfway, arms sweep along the sides. Inhale, rising up, crescent lunge, arms reach up. Exhale, folding in halfway, arms sweep back along the sides, and inhale, crescent lunge, our arms reach up. Exhale, folding in halfway, arms sweep back along the sides. On an inhale, look forward, press into the left foot. Exhale, glide it forward, warrior three. Right heel presses back, creating a T-like shape with the body. Lengthen through the left standing leg, right quadricep, right thigh lifts for five, elongate your spine. Four, find your balance. Three, lift your right leg higher. Two, take a deep breath in. Exhale, right foot meets the left. Chair pose, low in our hips. This time, inhale, press to stand, come all the way up. Exhale, hands of the heart center, Sama CCD. Inhale, chair pose, low in our hips. Exhale, forward fold, hands, fingertips down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float the feet back, move it through a vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Downward facing dogs. Full breath in. And exhale, let it go. On an inhale, lift your right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between the hands, left heel down, heel to arch alignment. On an inhale, please rise, come up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten through your right leg and turn the right toes inward, pigeon toe the feet. Inhaling, arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Release the hands, fingertips down towards the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, folding it in. Hang out here for a moment. Maybe you choose to stay here. If this feels right for your body, hang out here. If you'd like a little bit more, walk the hands underneath you. Maybe the top of the head starts to come down towards the ground. If you have a tripod headstand practice, maybe the legs start to float upwards towards the sky. You decide. Play. Have fun. Remember, this is your practice. Enjoy it. Five. Four. Three. Two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, float the feet back down with control, lowering the feet down. Walk the hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, half lift, lengthen spine. Exhale, bend into your left knee, shift the weight to the back of the mat. Inhale, come back towards center. Exhale, bend into your right knee, then walk your hands to the front of the mat. Pivoting on the feet. Walk your hands forward, press through the right foot, inhale, look forward, exhale, standing forward, splits on the right leg. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, exhale, fold it in. And as you fold in, left heel presses back, right leg lengthens, left leg lengthens. You can stay here and walk your hands back to your right ankle. Or if you feel like playing this morning and having a little bit of fun, Plant your hands on the ground. Maybe you're working on kicking up into a handstand. 
if it's in your practice. Play, have fun. Pick for five. Find your balance. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly lower the feet down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or float the feet back. Move it through vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dogs. Hips up and back. On an inhale, lift your left leg high. Look between the hands. Exhale, quietly step your left foot forward, right heel down, heel to arch alignment. On an inhale, please rise, warrior two, Vita Vidrasana two. Exhale, straighten through your left leg, hands to your hips, turn the left toes inwards. On an inhale, arms out to the sides, reach up, palms touch. Exhale, wide legged forward fold, release the hands down towards the ground. On an inhale, half lift, length the spine. Exhale, fold. So maybe this time you want to hook your index finger, middle finger around the big toes. Bend your elbows and pull yourself into it. Top of the head reaching down. Legs lengthen. Hips lifting. Hold for five. Four. Pull yourself into it. Three. Two. And one. Walk the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, half lift on the fingertips. Exhale, bend into your right knee. Shift the weight to the back of the mat. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend into your left knee, then walk your hands to the front of the mat, pivot on the feet, runner's lunge. On the inhale, look forward, walk your hands forward. Exhale, press down through your left foot, float the right foot up off the ground, standing forward splits on your left leg. Inhale, half lift. Exhaling, we fold it in. So as we fold it in, right heel presses back, right quadricep lifting. You may choose to stay here if this feels good for your body today. Working on the hamstring. Maybe your hands walk back towards your left ankle and you're playing with the balance. Keep the right leg lifting high. Or if you like going upside down, plant your hands on the ground. Left foot hops back a little bit. Maybe you're working on kicking up, pressing in two your handstand, have fun with it. Explore, play, it's all about what your body needs. Hmm. Traveling all around today. Kick up for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lower the right foot down. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, chair pose, get low in the hips. And exhale, come all the way down to your buttocks. Shake the legs out. As we come down to your buttocks, and make your way towards the center of your mat. Shake the legs out. Flex your feet. On an inhale, arms reach upwards. Exhale, seated forward fold, reach out and over your legs. Smooth breath in. And exhale, fold it in. Make sure you are having fun in your practice. Have a sense of lightness that you bring to your mat. That lightness is infectious. That joy that you bring to your mat, it's infectious. That joy we take off our mat, we can give it to others. Take a long, slow breath in. Exhaling. Good. 
hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, please lift your chest up, shake the legs out. And then from here, let's come into a single leg pigeon, bend your right knee, and swing your left foot back. Untuck the back left toes, and then square your hips with the front of your mat. Now, if you have tight hips, I advise putting a pillow or a bolster underneath the right hip to create some space. Now, as you set yourself up for this, keep your chest even with the front of your mat. Full breath in. Keep the right foot flexed. Exhale, begin to walk your hands forward, then fold into the stretch. See what's there. What's in the stretch today? Is there some tension in the hips, in the lower back? Self-diagnosis. How are we feeling? your hands forward just a little bit more. Roll your left rib cage down. Go towards that space of tension that may be showing up. Hold for five. Four. Three, two, and one. With your next inhale, please lift your chest back up. Let's swing our left leg around. Single leg pigeon on the left side. <coughs> Take your right leg back. And from here, notice which side's tighter. If you need to use a pillow or bolster underneath the left buttocks, then please place one there. Right toes reach back, flex the left foot. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Center your chest with the front of your mat. And on the exhale, slowly start to walk your hands forward, fold into them. Yogananda said, along with positive thinking, you should use willpower and continuous activity in order to be successful. Every outward manifestation is the result of will. But this power is not always used consciously. There is mechanical will as well as conscious will. The dynamo of all your powers is volition or willpower. Without volition, you cannot walk, talk, work, think, or feel. Therefore, willpower is the spring of all your actions. In order not to use this energy, you would have to be completely inactive, both physically and mentally. Even when you move your hand, you are using willpower. It is impossible to live without using this force. Mechanical will is an unthinking use of willpower. Conscious will is a vital force accompanying determination and effort, a dynamo that should be wisely directed. As you train yourself to use conscious, not mechanical will, you should also be sure that your will is being used constructively, not for harmful purposes nor useless acquisition. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale. One more deep breath in. Exhaling. With your next inhale, slowly begin to walk your hands in, lift your chest up. And on the exhale, swing your right leg around. <coughs> take it, excuse me, take it 
forward. Shake the leg back. Okay. Let's take our legs wide apart. So take our legs wide apart, flex through the feet. Lightly press your pelvis forward, hands out in front of you. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, folding in. As you fold in, ease into it, let go of grimacing, let go of facial expressions. <coughs> Yogananda said, mind is the creator of everything. You should therefore guide it to create only good. If you cling to a certain thought with dynamic willpower, it finally assumes a tangible outward form. When you are able to employ your will always for constructive purposes, you become the controller of your destiny. Always. So that means checking in when we've checked out. When we start to think harmful thoughts, when we start to think negative thoughts, when we start to consider lying and things like that, come back to willpower. In fact, in this, it even says to connect to what some may call, dare I say, the will of God. Well, whatever that means to you. If you're religious or if you practice a certain philosophy, it is connecting to that power, that higher source of power. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. And with your next inhale, slowly lift the chest back up. And let's bring our legs together. Lightly shake the legs out. Let's make our way onto our backs. As we make our way onto our backs, bring both knees into your chest. As you bring both knees into your chest, just give yourself a little rock side to side again, back and forth, back and forth. And let the back of the head come down. Happy baby pose. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Press the soles of the feet upwards. Shoulder blades down the back. If it feels good to rock a little bit side to side, maybe rock a little bit again, side to side. Whatever you feel like. It's your body. You know it. You live in it. Coming back towards center, let's bring both our knees into our chest and lower your feet down towards the ground. As you lower your feet down towards the ground, set yourselves up for a little back bending, arms along the sides, root to the soles of the feet. On an inhale, lift your hips upwards, interlace the hands underneath you, uh, shoulder blades underneath you. Lift the hips and thighs, lift the chest to your chin, press the forearms down. Holding here for five, four, three, two, take a deep breath in, exhale, release the hands, lower the buttocks down, let's bring our right knee into our chest, take the left leg long, long, slow, deep breath in. And on the exhale, please twist over to your left. Right arm goes out to the right, right shoulder down, reach through your right fingertips. Spread through your collarbones just a little more. Full breath in. Exhaling. Deep breath in. Exhaling. Full breath in. Exhale. With your next inhale, please bring your right knee into your chest. Bring your left knee into your chest. Take your right leg forward. 
full breath in, flex the feet, exhale, twist across the body, taking your left knee over to the right, left arm out to the left, left palm face up, left shoulder down, inhaling, exhaling. Deep breath in, exhaling, and one more, full breath in, exhaling. With your next inhale, please bring your left knee back into your chest. Bring your right knee into your chest. Give yourselves one final hug and a squeeze. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Fill your lungs all the way up to the top, holding the breath. Sip in a little more air, hug it all together. And on the exhale, please release everything down towards the ground, Shavasana. Closing the eyes. And as you close the eyes, just allow yourself to be here. Let go, breathe. Relaxing the head, forehead, ears. Relaxing the eyes, the eyelids. Relaxing the cheeks, the lips, the mouth, the jaw, the tongue. Feel the entire head and face relax. Vertebrae by vertebrae, relaxing the cervical spine, neck, the mid-back, thoracic spine, <clears throat> the lumbar spine, lower back. Feel the shoulder blades drop down. Let the collarbone spread. The upper arms relax, the elbows, lower arms relax. Relaxing the wrists, hands, fingers. Let the collarbones spread a little bit more, let the rib cage relax, feel your chest release. Feel the abdomen relax. Relaxing your hips and pelvis, buttocks, side waist. Relaxing the upper legs, knees and lower legs, ankles, feet and toes. Letting everything be at ease. to the breath and body, to the inhales and exhales, slowly start to move the fingers and toes, circle out the wrists and ankles, roll your shoulders up back and down, turn the head side to side, open and close the mouth a couple times, take the deepest, longest inhales all day, reach the arms up and over the head, give yourself
yourself a nice long stretch. And on the exhale, release your arms down along the sides. Placing a gentle bend in your knees, roll over to your left side. Use your right hand, press yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. And placing the hands over the heart, closing the eyes for a moment. Just checking in with will. Remember, a wish is desire without energy. After a wish may come intention, the plan to do a thing, to fulfill a wish or desire. But will means I act until I get my wish. When you exercise your willpower, you release the power of life energy. Not when you merely wish passively to be able to obtain an objective. Placing the hands over the heart. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, letting it go. Let's finish the practice with the sound of OM. Inhale. And exhale, bowing the head down towards the hands. Honoring yourself today, your practices for showing up on your mats. We honor our friends, families, loved ones, service members, happy veterans day, supporters and guides. In gratitude for the gifts and blessings and abundance that shows up in our lives. And in gratitude to all the many teachers and guides that came along before us that passed along these practices, we call it yoga. Releasing the hands down, opening the eyes, and lifting your chins. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Thank you to all the many service members out there for serving our country, providing freedoms and protections so that way we may be able to practice practices like this. Thank you so much for all that it is, everyone that you do. Please reach out to me if you need anything at all. My family and I are here to serve. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy Veterans Day. Ho'oponopono. Aho. Namaste, friends.